Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I source my suppliers. This is one of the biggest questions I've been asked over the years since starting my crystal business four years ago. And when I originally made my how to start a crystal business video, that was at the height of the pandemic and so much has changed. So I wanted to come and give a refresher on how I source my suppliers now and some tips and tricks to doing that, whether you're a beginner or you've been selling for years let's jump in and get started now in today's video I will exclusively be talking about how I source not how I vet them so vetting crystal suppliers is a whole different process people have all different ways of doing it and I will make a separate video on how I do that but in today's video I'm mostly gonna be focusing on how I source them and how I find them starting off my favorite way to source suppliers is just going to gem shows whether it's the big Tucson and Denver gem shows or a local Local gem show that is a great way to source your crystals and let me tell you why number one you get to meet the wholesaler the vendor the supplier the miner in person and that is honestly the best way to start a business relationship if I've learned anything the crystal industry is all about trust and meeting someone in person definitely helps build that level of trust and building trust with suppliers goes a long way it helps ensure you're getting the best quality for the best price while consciously sourcing. So meeting a vendor in person, there's really nothing like that. So I highly recommend if you have never attended a gem show, make it a priority to do that because it is life-changing. It is business changing for the crystal industry. Reason number two is you get to see the material in person. Now I have bought material online for years and have rarely been disappointed because of my vetting process, which I will talk about in a different video. Video, but seeing material in person, there's just nothing like it. You get to see the quality, you get to see the color, you get to see the size, the material, you get to ask questions, you get to ask where it was mined. There's so many things that you can do in person that you really can't do as well online. So there really is nothing that beats in person, but I will talk about other options if you cannot be in person. Now, the one side to shopping at gem shows is that sellers sometimes exclusively sell at gem shows so you can only get that material at that show with that vendor during that time frame and you can never get it again I've run into that so many times especially with high quality material specifically from international suppliers so that is one of the downsides especially if you fall in love with a material and you ask them hey can I buy this offline or outside of the gem show and they say no we only sell here so that can be a downside but there are ways to work around that so that's always one thing to ask at gem shows is do you sell outside of the gem show? Make sure you get their card so you can find them again next year. I have so many suppliers who do not sell out of the gem shows, but that's what keeps me coming back so I can see them again and buy from them. And I always buy a little bit more to get me through the months between Tucson and Denver because often those vendors go to both shows and sometimes they even go to local shows in between. And if you guys want to learn more about the Tucson and Denver gem shows, I have an entire playlist of vlogs you can come and shop with me and see what the experience is like. I also have a bunch of Q&A's on Tucson, which is the biggest gem show in the United States. So I will link those down below if you want to find out more about what those gem shows are and what they are like. Now, let's say you can't travel or you don't have the money to travel or whatever the reason may be. I'm going to talk about some great alternatives to finding vendors and suppliers. Option number one is go to a local gem show. And so many people are like, oh, I don't think there's a gem show in my city and I'm like girl google it you will probably find so many gem shows even if there isn't one down the road there may be one 30 minutes away so always 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 be googling local gem shows trust me being in Minnesota I was like there's no way there's gem shows there's two wholesale shows a year that happen here there's two gem society shows that happen here and there are local suppliers here so I was like I didn't even know. So go and Google and do some research on gem shows in your area or even the states over if that's a quick drive for you. Now the local shows are most likely not going to be massive like Tucson and Denver, but don't discount them. There are some great vendors there. I found several Moldavite suppliers at my local show. I found suppliers from Pakistan, which can be difficult, and Afghanistan, which can be difficult at these local shows. So there are definitely really nice material, including Himalayan quartz, 
Aramar, Moldavite, Libyan Desert Glass, all of the rare stuff, all of the good stuff at these shows. And I've done a couple videos on local shows in Minnesota if you're curious to see what those wholesale shows look like. And most of those local shows are traveling shows. A lot of the times when I talk to the vendors there, they're like, yep, we're going to Chicago next, then we're going to New York, then we're going here, then we're going there. So a lot of the times they have a schedule for the whole year and they're just in the city for the weekend or three days and then boom, they're on to the next city. So a lot of these vendors and suppliers are traveling all over the country, all different times of year, going to different gem shows. So definitely do some Googling and figure out where the shows are and what the schedules are so you don't miss them in your local town. Now, I mentioned the local gem and mineral society. This is different from a wholesale show, but most states from what I've seen have local gem and mineral societies. And that is another great way to meet suppliers, meet vendors, meet local sellers, and meet collectors. And it's an opportunity just to mingle and meet with people in the community in your local state. I've gone to the Minnesota Gem and Society show several times and I absolutely love it. You can actually find good deals and meet some amazing suppliers that do show in Tucson and Denver. So I highly encourage anyone who is struggling to find suppliers online to go to a show, whether it's local or in another state, I highly recommend it. It'll change your sourcing perspective and you may meet your next future supplier. Now, let's say you can't travel, you can't go to the local show, you can't do any of that and you have to do all of your sourcing online. Let's talk about that next. Now, I was stumbling upon this the other day and I was like, this is a gold mine and I bet a lot of people don't know about it. So let me share what I found. So if you go on to the Tucson Gem Show website, you can find a list of every single supplier that shows at the Tucson Show and it's broken out by all of the different shows, who's there. Sometimes it has their website, it has a list of what they sell. And you guys, I'm just gonna show you on the screen what this looks like. There are thousands of suppliers on this list. You could probably scroll for 10 minutes and not get through all of them. So I was even looking through the list the other day and I recognized some suppliers that I forgot the names of or that I wish I had shopped with and I wrote them down and kept them in my notebook and wrote down their location at the show so I could visit them again. But I also went and checked if they have a website or a social media. Sometimes that is listed and sometimes it's not. So yes, this process is tedious and cumbersome. It's an entire list of every single supplier that shows at Tucson. It is a great free downloadable resource highly recommend going and downloading that. Yes, it's gonna take a lot of time to sort through. Yes, it's gonna take a lot of time to find those amazing suppliers, but you know what? Nothing good happens quickly and good things take time. Now, outside of the Gem Show websites, there's not only one for Tucson, but there's one for Denver as well. You can also look up what the show host website is and look through their list of suppliers. So yes, this takes tons of research and tons of time, but if you are stuck trying to find suppliers, this is another great option to do everything at home, on your computer, and you don't have to travel anywhere. Now, in terms of social media and sourcing suppliers, back when I first made my video, I highly recommended Facebook because most of the gem and mineral community was on Facebook. It hadn't really gotten on Instagram or TikTok in a big way, but that has changed. So let me talk about next how I source suppliers through social media. So let me paint this picture for you. I recently started a brand new Instagram. I only have 12 posts on there right now, under a thousand followers and I, that's it, 12 posts and they're crystal posts, right? In the past two weeks since I opened that, I've probably gotten over 150 crystal suppliers reaching out to me. They come to you, you don't even need to find them anymore. That's like some first class service. Now, just because they're coming to you and inboxing you and DMing you and following you does not mean they are good vendors, <laughs> but they are still crystal suppliers and it doesn't mean that they're not running a scam. So that's where crystal supplier vetting is very important, but you can still source some pretty incredible vendors and let me tell you how I do that. I will say I found my best wholesale suppliers from Brazil, Mexico, India, and South America through my own Instagram by doing this one simple thing. Checking who follows me. Literally, I went through and checked all of my followers and I was like, oh, that looks like a crystal supplier. Let me take a look at their profile. And if I like them, I'll message them and try to see if we have a relationship. If not, move on, delete. But I'll go through and check who's following me because I kid you not, my best Brazilian suppliers were following me and I didn't even know about it. And now we work together and I get some of my best material from them. Same with my suppliers from 
from India. I found some really great pink Himalayan quartz and pink scolocyte from people who are following me on Instagram. Like it's kind of crazy. Same with my rainbow obsidian vendor from Mexico. So you'd be surprised what's hiding in your following list. And like I said, again, I only have under a thousand followers in 12 posts and I was able to find amazing suppliers. So definitely do that, especially if you've had an account for a while, you'll probably have some secret hidden gem suppliers in there. Crystal sourcing has completely changed in the last few years. Crystal suppliers are knocking on your door for your business. It is crazy and not just suppliers from China, from all over the world. It's definitely a good idea to source on Instagram. And there are some amazing wholesalers on TikTok who make awesome videos. So if you're not on Instagram and you're more of a TikTok person, check that out too. There's tons of wholesalers on TikTok. So don't shy away from social media and sourcing. And I still think Facebook is a great way to source. Now, I know some people may be like, well, what about Alibaba? What about some of those big e-commerce wholesale websites? What about those? So I personally have not and will not shop on those websites just because that is not usually where I can find the material I'm looking for for my shop. However, I have had many people tell me that they've had success on Alibaba and found exactly what they're looking for. And Alibaba does verify and have blue check marks for verification on certain suppliers to ensure you're not getting scammed. So Alibaba does have some built in protection that places like Instagram and TikTok and Facebook don't when it comes to sourcing suppliers online. So in general, most of the material you'll find on Alibaba is mass produced or Chinese based suppliers because Alibaba is a Chinese e-commerce website. So you may not necessarily find big statement pieces or stuff from Brazil or stuff from South Africa, but you can still find things sourced from Madagascar and even Brazil because there are crystals that are sourced all over the world. And just because it's sourced somewhere doesn't mean it's not manufactured in China. China is the king for crystal carving. So if you're looking for carvings, Alibaba may be the place to check out. So it's personally somewhere that I won't shop right now, but who knows in the future I could. So I would say don't discount Alibaba. It's not my favorite place to shop, but people do it and are successful and have had success. So if that's something you feel more comfortable doing, give it a shot. And I always have to say this in my videos, shopping from Alibaba or shopping from China is not a bad thing. There is so much like China shaming in the crystal industry and that is so far from the truth. Some of the best minerals come out of China and some of the best crystals come out of China, including crystal carving. So don't discount China and don't bash China in the comments. Like I just delete those comments. Like it really I don't, it doesn't have a place on my channel. I fully support Chinese crystal wholesalers and Chinese crystal sellers and Chinese materials. So please don't leave any comments that are negative towards Chinese sellers and they're just as trustworthy as any other seller out there. So there is nothing wrong with sourcing from China or Alibaba. All right, you guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this so, so helpful. I am working on how to start a crystal business in 2023. That's gonna have completely new content. So keep an eye out for that. It's gonna take me a long time to script, produce, and film and edit, but it is coming. Also, if you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below and I will personally respond to you. And if you don't already know, I have a crystal business Patreon where we talk about suppliers, sourcing, selling online, Etsy, social media, all things crystal business in a Discord community that I own and run. And there are about a hundred other crystal shops in there. So if you're looking for a community, all of the information is in the description box down below. And if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to leave me a crystal ball emoji so I know that you are the real MVP of my channel. And before you go, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye.